Alright guys, so today is going to be a bit of a different video because I, you know, there's just something I really need to make a video about and this is something that needs to be done immediately. Um, this is about a person that, you know, I've poked fun at a lot on this channel and I think it's about time that we do a video like this because with E3, you know, around the corner and with just so much, you know, Smash speculation going around and, you know, just Nintendo E3 hype. I thought, you know, before we get into the Countdown to E3 series, which, if you guys don't know that, that's basically a series where each day before E3, I make a video in regards to what we could see at E3 and basically talk about my opinions on it. Um, so before we get into that series, I thought that this should be a great, perfect video that we could make to wrap up. Uh, you know, this month before we get into June 1st where the series the series begins and um Yeah, there's so much leak speculation and I can't wait to get into what the latest 4chan leak has to say Okay, that was obvious sarcasm I'm pretty sure you guys all know about the youtuber that I'm going to be critiquing in this video because this is going to be a critique video I kind of want to talk about this so I am critiquing a YouTuber by the name of Lax Chris. Now, if you have been, like, if you have searched up any Nintendo video on the internet, then you have probably came across at least one Lax Chris video. Basically, these videos are talking about some leaks that have came from 4chan, either in regards to Smash, Pokemon, or just Nintendo in general. And there is a lot of problems with this. I cannot stand YouTubers who just rely on, you know, a website to make a video and, you know, and most of the time it's not even real. Um, and I feel like this is something that needs to be critiqued and because I want to say this right now, Chris, you seem like a pretty nice guy and I don't want you to go into this spiraling hole that you have been putting yourself in for these past few months. You have been going downhill in your YouTube career since the Smash speculation started, and I want to critique your content because I do feel like you should improve. You know, there's many ways to improve your channel, and by doing that, it's it's got to be done. I got to critique your videos. So, anyways, I pulled up a random leak video by him just so I can critique it. This video was called Huge Smash Ultimate DLC leak. All DLC fighters leaked with proof? Crazy new characters. And also you can see the like to dislike ratio just for a fair warning. Anyways, you can already tell that this is off to a good start just because uh, off to a bad start because of that. But I'm pretty sure anyone who just found it finds out about this guy, you will probably get yourself excited over nothing. Without further ado, let's see what he has to say. How's it going everyone, Chris here, and welcome back to another Super Smash Bros. Ultimate DLC leak discussion video. Oh god. In today's video, we are actually going to be taking a look at a leak that claims to know every single character that is going to appear on the upcoming Fighters Pass, and this leak is actually extremely interesting because it correctly predicted something that the Pokemon Company as well as Nintendo recently put out on their social media pages. However guys, as always and I cannot stress this enough, we have no idea if this leak is true or not, so make sure you guys take it with a grain of salt and realize that I'm talking about this just for fun. Alright, so we already hit um, a very important criticism that I have to point out in this video. Um, he says, make sure you guys take this with a grain of salt and realize I'm talking about this just for fun. This sentence has kind of become a meme in the Smash community uh, for those who have actually watched Lax Chris's videos. Um, he says that he is doing these videos just for fun. Yeah, because putting five to six ads in a one, like in a ten minute video, is doing this just for fun. To, in all seriousness, this doesn't really look like it's he's doing it just for fun. If he was doing it just for fun, he wouldn't be making money off of it. He's doing this for his job. Apparently he does this for college, but I don't know. I don't believe it. I personally feel like this is for his you know, Switch games and stuff like that. I mean, he can basically say anything. Um, I, I, I never really... 
I mean, he could be in college. I can't really say so for sure, but I don't know. He has a lot of money to get video games and consoles and stuff like that. So, hey, who knows what he's really doing with the money. But that's something that I have to point out. Also, he also... Apparently, he begs his subscribers to join his Patreon. So, there is that. Overall, that's a false statement. And, yeah, that's pretty important to bring up. Anyways, let's continue the video. If you'd like to read along while I talk, you can find the link to the original post in the description right down below. And now, with all that out of the way, I have to tell you guys where this leak came from. So guys, this leak was sent in to me by one of my subscribers on my Discord server, so if you guys haven't already joined up, you can find the link to my Discord as well as links to all of my other social media presences in the description right down below, as well as the pinned comment. Also guys, don't forget that now that we've hit 20,000 subscribers, we have officially started Slash Friday Night, Life's first official Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Tournament, where I will be giving away a gift card to the winner. The tournament, by the way, also starts tomorrow, so if you guys haven't already signed up, this is your last chance. Make sure you guys go down in the description, check out the video that explains how to sign up, and get signed up for your chance to win a Nintendo eShop gift card. It has been one whole minute before, like, after he said that he was going to tell us where this leak came from, and he has still not told us where this leak came from. At first, he said, this leak came from one of my subscribers on my Discord server, and honestly, that feels like just a way to promote his Discord, because, you know, he has, he wants to spread this out until 10 minutes so we can earn that extra ad revenue from the five to six ads on his videos, and, um... And then he talks about his subscriber tournament. If he wants to talk about a subscriber tournament, he should do it at the end of the video, not at the start, because a lot of people came for what the video was actually about. When I when I want to talk about an update on my channel that is that coincides with a video of mine, normally I save it for the end of the video, because I know a lot of people don't want to wait until I'm done talking about whatever it is I'm trying to talk about. If you want, if you want to, you know, get... You should get right and straight into the point instead of dragging it out for one whole minute until you actually start to talk about this leak that, by the way, is fake anyways. So, again, you know, it's it's still pointless to even wait for you because it, it, because just wait until where it comes from. Anyways, um, yeah, let's just continue watching. And now, guys, with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at this brand new leak. So guys, like I said, this leak comes from 4chan, and it is titled, Smash My Dudes, and it is posted by Anonymous. Welp, I already saw this coming. So anyways, this huge Smash Ultimate DLC leak that he claimed that was in the title comes from 4chan. Now, there's one problem with 4chan leaks that Lax Chris just does not understand. It is so easy to fake something like this. I, fun fact, I actually did once make a 4chan leak, and I actually did send it to Lax Chris's Discord, and he actually made a video about it, and he said that it's a good possibility of being real. I fooled him, and it only took me 10 minutes to make, and... Again, this is an anonymous user who is hiding behind, you know, this website that, you know, not a whole lot of people really use, and it just seems suspicious. You should never believe text, thing, uh, text leaks. If you want a real leak, look at some actual credible sources instead of a instead of a website that is so easy to fake. It's so easy to fake stuff like this, and just to the point where it's just so pointless to talk about. Um... But yeah, with that out of the way, let's just keep continuing the video. It starts by saying, Okay, so I originally was not supposed to say anything to you guys, but after speaking with friends and family, I have decided I am going to leave my current line of employment and start taking a look at other career paths. I actually already have a job offer at another place, so I am excited I can finally leave this terrible job. Anywho, I have insider information about Super Smash Bros. Ultimate and about which characters are going to be making it in. I also know what new stages are coming and a little bit about Echo Fighters. Here is your DLC. These may or may not be in the correct order as I am not sure how they will be revealing them. So first up we have Airdrick, followed by Steve, then Crash Bandicoot, and finally Geno. Along with this, we will also be getting a few Echo Fighters, and these will be free for subscribers of Nintendo Switch Online. 
First up, we have Octoling as an Echo Fighter for Inkling, and Funky Kong as an Echo Fighter for Donkey Kong. If you don't believe me, Nintendo will be making a Detective Pikachu post specifically about Cubone sometime between now and Sunday. Alright, so after he just read that leak, I thought that I will be talking about this leak myself and seeing whether I believe this leak is real or fake. Now, I'm not just going to talk about each individual character on its own like he does. Instead, I am pointing out red flags so that I can remind people that all of these 4chan leaks that are keeping that keep coming out on this website are fake. First of all, this leak comes from, you know, from from a non-Japanese, you know, country. Obviously, if, you know, if someone had some insider knowledge, they would have to be from Japan or around there. Because the fact that he, that uh, this American or whoever country this guy is from, how would he, out of all people, know that these characters are, you know, on the fighter's pass? It's easy to fake and, you know, anyone can fake stuff like this. Now, the part where he said that Nintendo will be making a Detective Pikachu post specifically about Cubone, um, you know, sometime between now and Sunday, which that time has already gone past. Actually, that tweet was actually made before that post was made. So, yeah, that's already a red flag right there. Someone obviously, you know, knew that Nintendo tweeted about that. And, you know, they decided to just include it on the leak in case no one found out that Nintendo already made the post. Um, so, seriously, do your research. Alright, so now we're just gonna continue watching. Oh, and actually not really, because he talks about this, like, each individual character for almost ten minutes. So there's really not much to talk about. Now... However, I will be skipping to a part, I'm going to be skipping about the entire part where he talks about this leak, and I'm going to be getting straight into something that I want to discuss that really just, really just makes me not really like Lax Chris's channel. Um, so let's just, yeah, let's just watch this part right here. Now, I actually went to Nintendo of America's official Twitter, and it turns out they already posted this, so if you go there right now, you will be able to see exactly what this leaker was referring to. Now, on 4chan, you have the exact timestamp of when that post was posted. However, on Twitter, you don't have the exact timestamp. If you guys can find out which one of these was posted first, please let me know in the comment section down below. Because if the Nintendo of America post was actually posted first, then obviously that means that this leak is fake. Alright, I have many problems uh, with this statement. Alright, I just skipped a lot through this video because you know all the all the other stuff about the video was just him talking about the characters and why he thinks that he they could or could not be in smash i'm not going into that but i skipped through the video to talk about this part and this is one of the main things that really makes me hate lax chris's channel because his title that he says huge smash ultimate dlc leak he talks about it in the video, and then he's just like, Alright, this leak is fake. So, this is known as a little thing that we refer to on the internet as clickbait. What clickbait is, is that they will say something on the title or a thumbnail, and they'll say, HUGE SMASH ULTIMATE DLC LEAK! And then once you click on the video, you know it's nothing big at all, it's just something stupid that was posted on an easily fakeable website that anyone can fake, and it's obviously not real. This is what clickbait is. I mean, just look at one of his thumbnails. Like, it just screams clickbait. Like, there's just huge bold letters, there's just so much pictures going on, there's so much going on in that thumbnail, and it's so hard to just comprehend all of it. So, it's just so, it's just, 
that's the thing that irritates me the most out of him is that people will click on these videos, but they're gonna get you know baited every single time, and that's one of my main that's my main problem with Lax Chris, and that's why I absolutely you know despise his channel. The only reason I'm subscribed to him is so that he can just get trolled every day because I always see his like to dislike ratio and his comments, and there's so much fierce dislikes on his videos and so much fierce comments on his videos that you know a lot of people just don't like him and it makes sense because he clickbaits people he just talks all this nonsense before we get into that part though where we just talk about his channel and what he could do to improve let's just see if the rest of the i don't know remaining seconds of the video if he has anything else insightful to say let's just watch all right, no, he doesn't. All right, so we just watched that video, and you can obviously see that there's a lot of problems with Lax Chris's videos. And, you know, I'm in this is the part of the video where I'm going to be talking about some things that he should improve about his channel and what he can take inspiration from with other YouTubers. All right, so after watching that video, there is a lot of things I do need to say in regards to his channel and stuff like that. Um, first of all, he's got to stop looking at 4chan leaks. You know, 4chan leaks are just easily fakeable, and they're just, they, they, like, they're just fakeable. Anyone can just go on 4chan and type all this stuff out, add a picture, and then that's it. That's all you have to do. This is why I like YouTubers like Papa Gino's or Billy Bo 10,000, because they're different because they talk about credible leaks. You can have you can be a leak channel all you want. Hell, even sometimes I talk about leaks on this channel sometimes. But the only way that a leak channel is going to succeed is if you talk about actual great leak channels. That's why a lot of people actually love Papa Gino's and Billy Bo 10,000's videos because they don't talk about the latest leaks on 4chan or none of that. The only time they really talk about a 4chan leak is if it has a slightly tiny bit of credibility that we could have to consider in the near future. There's also there's also other YouTubers that you know have improved over time. You know, like Wii U Gamer One Two and Marlin Gaming Gaming Nation. In the past, they used to cover 4chan leaks in a similar fashion to Lax Chris. And when they realized that all these leaks can easily be fake, they just decided to forget them. They don't use 4chan anymore, and they just thought that looking at these leaks are pointless because they found out that these leaks are easily fakeable, and they learned that they're nothing worth looking at. So they've already learned from experience that, you know, these leaks are not worth covering. Lax Chris is the only person that ha that used to be doing all these 4chan leak videos from the past that is still doing these videos right now, and it's just it's just stupid and sad. Um, now another thing he's got to do is he's got to make his videos shorter, and he needs to stop putting that much ads on a video. It's redundant. It's pointless. It's useless. You know. If you want ads on a video, you should at least put one to two ads on a video. One ad at the start, another ad at the end. That's all you need. You don't need a thousand ads in between these videos. You don't need that. All you need is just one ad, another ad, that's it. That's all you need to make money. Trust me, you'll make money just off of that. Um, and it'll also make it, it'll also make it feel like you actually are having fun because with the five to six ads that you put on your uh, videos, you saying that you're doing these videos just for fun doesn't make you look like you're doing these videos just for fun. It just makes you look like you want to do it just for the money, not just for the fun. So yeah, um, that's basically really what you need to do. Those are the most important things you have to do. Another thing you have to do is you have to branch out into other, you know, video topics. You know, instead of talking about all the latest 4chan leaks and all these huge Smash Ultimate DLC leaks from 4chan, you should make other videos that are in regards to gaming. You can do gaming videos all you want, like me. 
But I don't talk about leaks that came from 4chan or none of those, you know, websites. I talk, you know, sometimes I talk about my opinions on a video game, you know, my predictions, you know, discussions, stuff like that. You know, my channel doesn't revolve around leaks. You know, I make videos myself. I don't have 4chan make my videos for me, which I know that does sound harsh, but that kind of sounds like the equivalent of what you're doing. You're relying too heavily on 4chan to make your videos because the only reason you still have your channel and the only reason you're still doing these videos is because 4chan is making these leaked videos for the purpose of trolling you so you can make your, you know, your videos. You make videos off of 4chan when the majority of the 4chan users, including me, have made these leaks just to troll you because we all know you're gonna believe them and make a video about it so that's why it's so pointless to you know talk about it because the majority of the people that are sending you these are probably the people that are making them you know i don't think anyone is just going on 4chan trying to find a random smash ultimate leak that they can find you know they're doing it for a reason they're making these they're not actually going out and finding them and that's pretty much it Another thing, I keep thinking of other things to talk about. Another thing that you need to do is that you need to advertise yourself at the end of a video. You know, you should say, you you know, you should talk about your Discord. You should, you, you should save all that stuff for the end. Your tournament, you should save all of that to the end. Because people want to come to your video to talk about, to see what you have to that you made the video about, that you centered the video about. You know, people just don't want to sit there for two minutes of you just rambling on about your Discord and, you know, your Lax Chris tournament. You know, just get on with it and then save that stuff for the end. You can promote yourself all you want. It's a good way to get yourself out there in the community, but you gotta save that stuff for the end because people just want to see what your video is about, not see... Oh, when's your Lax Chris tournament? Because some people that are clicking on your video probably aren't really subscribed to you and they just see huge Smash Ultimate leak and they want to click on it because they want to see what this huge leak is and that's probably the main reason why they click on that video. So overall, I critiqued Lax Chris's leak video and Really, I there's not really other videos that I really need to critique because every single video that he makes is the same exact thing every single time. It's the same, like, five fighters every single video. You know, you got your Erdrix, you got your Banjo-Kazooies, you got your Steves, you got your Crash Bandicoots, you got your Doom Slayers, you know... All of these highly speculated characters that, you know, a lot of people talk about, it's in every single leak. And then when he talks about these leaks, he's talking about the same exact characters. You could edit, you know, multiple Lax Chris videos and you could get the same exact result. Every video is the same, so there's no reason to crit critique multiple videos. Because every single video of his is the same that involves leaks, which the majority of his channel relies on. So, after all of that, I do want to see some improvements from Lax Chris. I really do care about Lax Chris's channel. As much as I do give him backlash and all these hate and, you know, picking on him a lot on my channel, I really do care because he does seem like a nice guy, you know? When he's not focusing on money and he's not when he's not focusing on making these videos, if you see him on some of his live streams, he does seem like a nice guy that cares about his subscribers. But in order to make yourself out there, and in order to make yourself look like you do care about your subscribers, you gotta stop relying on 4chan, and you gotta stop, you know, adding so much ads on your videos. You gotta put some effort and put, and just make some quality content. You know, just, you don't even, like, just make something just don't rely on 4chan and talk and say how it's such a huge leak that anyone can make and you know it's just pointless to talk about um but i think i've said pretty much all i've had to say so anyways what do you guys think about lax chris do you guys think that he should improve or do you guys think that he should just keep going through this spiraling hill that he's been going down uh, for the past almost a year now. Uh, let me know in the comments down below and I would love to hear it. 
Anyways, this has been Enigma, and peace. See you next time.